I had the amazing experience to visit and go to a Sony Alpha event. So like three days ago, one of my photography friends, J-Rock, I'll link him down in the description below, told me and another of our friends about the Sony B Alpha event happening in New Orleans. Before I finish the story, I'm sorry if you guys can hear what's happening outside. Um, didn't know they were gonna be pressure washing the road, but apparently that's happening. So please excuse all background noise. I will try my best to get rid of it, but wanted to make this video. J-Rock told us about the Sony B Alpha event, and at first I was a little on the fence because I was like, I'm not a Sony shooter, I don't shoot Sony, I don't have any Sony cameras or gear or anything. I didn't know that it was open to whoever. He was like, no man, it's open to whoever, you can come out and test gear and do anything. And so I was like, all right, cool, bet. Show up and immediately I see other photography friends from photo walks that I've been on. We get in line, they say that there are models and sets and things set up. And I know this because I've done just a little bit of research. You walk in and it's amazing. It's a completely different world. And to be filled in a room with photographers, models, and creatives who are not only local to Louisiana, but who are excelling and who shoot Sony and who are just excellent at their craft. And being in the same room with all these people um, watching them take pictures, watching them experiment with gear was otherworldly. Something that I really, really liked was the gear rental. So you walk in and you can stand in this line and just for handing them your ID, they let you check out camera bodies and lenses that you would want to try. So it was one camera body and lens at a time, but still I was able to try out the Sony a7R 3 with an 85 millimeter lens and then a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. I only tried the two lenses because the line kept getting long and I didn't want to keep standing in it and missing time to shoot. That's worth noting. The experience with the body and the camera itself was absolutely amazing. Intimidating, but amazing. Um, at first I couldn't figure out how to get the aperture to work. Didn't know that one of the rings like the aperture ring had an auto mode and then another mode where it was like manual. Didn't know that at first. Um, also didn't realize until like maybe an hour ago after I tried to import all the files that I shot in JPEG instead of RAW. Sony menu system, a little confusing, a little intimidating. I wanted to focus on taking pictures. I wasn't really focused on trying to dig through the menu system and figure out the camera. Probably should have spent a little more time doing that. Um, note to self in the future if I ever go back to another event like that check the camera settings make sure I'm shooting in raw and not JPEG um, for a true comparison either way I shot so many images so so many images one thing to note: I did shoot stuff with my own camera beforehand um, I shot a little bit of video and then I shot a lot of pictures with my camera just to compare side by side um, now that I'm home and I realize that I shot in JPEG, it's not a real true comparison, but I can still talk about how the colors and like just the overall camera experience. Overall I shot with the Sony a7R III. Um, the body is smaller, obviously, because it's a mirrorless body, but holding it in my hand felt comfortable. Um, the grip wasn't as pronounced as the Canon. T7i that I shoot on grip. I really like a pronounced grip, but it wasn't that bad. It was decent, solid, it held in my hand. Um, the body itself was, as I said, smaller, lighter, but the lenses that I used were bigger and heavier and were more pronounced than lenses that I am used to. Um, they're also way more expensive and probably something I will never, not never, never say never, but something I will not have in the near future unless I rent them. So without further ado, here are some of the images that I shot with my Canon T7i and then comparable to the Sony a7R 3 with the focal lengths. I'll have everything on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about and see, and see the difference between them. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, I also did some B-roll and other stuff, recorded some stuff with the GoPro, um, just so I wasn't trying to take pictures and film with the same camera all the time. I'll also throw in some Sony video shots. I'll label everything in the video so you guys can check it out. But here is the Sony B Alpha event, New Orleans or whatever you want to call it.
right, so there you have it. That was my experience at the Sony B Alpha event in New Orleans um, yesterday. By the time you watch this video, it'll probably be a week later or whatever. But if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Comment down below. Tell me what you thought. Tell me what you think. What camera do you shoot with? Um, have you been to a Sony B Alpha event? Are you going to one? I'd love to know what you guys think. If you have to say, comment down below. Let me know. Um, as always, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, believe that.